Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through how to solve quadratic equations using completing the square method. Solving quadratic equations using completing the square method is the most underrated method of solving quadratic equations. Many persons will actually not even uh, use this method unless it's a theory question and they are asked to use that method. Otherwise, they'll quickly stick to the formula method or factorization method. So I've already treated those ones. So you can check that out. Now, completing the square method is not as difficult as you think. And it's even one of the easiest ways to solve quadratic equation. Now look at it. We know that the standard form for every quadratic equation is a s square plus b s plus c is equals zero. <laughs> Where a, B, and C are values and are known. S square and S, or S generally, is the variable which we have to look for. Checking this, the first thing we do, let's compare to the standard. So this is S square plus 10 is equals minus 6S. So it has square value, it has S value, and it has this constant. But it's not arranged in standard form. So we can rearrange it. To this form to have s square minus 6s comes this way to become plus 6s plus 10 is equals 0. So this is the standard form for quadratic equation. And comparing here is 1. So a is 1, b equals 6, and c equals 10. Having this, look at the first thing you do in completing the square method. We take this constant to the other way. That leaves us with s square plus 6s is equals minus 10. If this is understood, the next thing we do is, this coefficient of s is what? 6. We have it and square it. So the coefficient of s is 6. Half in it means divided by 2. So we divide by 2 and we square. So we add this to both sides. What it means is that you come and say s square plus 6s plus 6 over 2 square is equals minus 10 plus 6 over 2 square. So we've added it to both sides. If we here we are to be 2 or 3, let me change this question for you to get what I'm talking about. Let me make it a 2. So you get what you do in that case. So having this, this is s square plus 6s plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 square is 9. So plus 9 is equals minus 10 plus 9 because this should be 9 also <coughs> factorizing this this is the same thing as s plus 3 square if you have s plus 3 s plus 3 this is the same thing as s plus 3 squared s times s is s squared s times 3 is 3s plus 3s plus 9 this is s square plus 6s plus 9. So s square plus 6s plus 9, which is this. So that means we are correct. And look at it. Let me tell you a cheat or something to a rule to use. When you divide the coefficient of s by 2, the answer you, you will get, that's what we just put here. Just put the answer here. Add the answer. Okay, maybe I'm confusing you. Look at it. I told you that here you have to divide the coefficient of s by 2, right? So 6 divided by 2 is what? 3. So no need to come and be solving and using factorization method. No. That 3 you got, just say s plus the 3 and square. That's all. If here were to be 12, that means half in it, 12 divided by 2 will be 6, right? So just come here and say s plus 6 square. If here were to be 10, Half unit will give you uh, 10 divided by 2, right? Which is 5. 
Just come here and see x plus 5 square. So don't need to solve this or crack your brain. So that is the logic here. And that is the reason we have to do all this to get a perfect square. So that is why it is called completing the square. So x plus 3 square is equals minus 10 plus 9 is minus 1. So s plus 3 is equals square root of minus 1. And since we are dealing with a quadratic equation, here has to be plus or minus. So this is the same thing as s equals minus 3 plus square root of minus 1. Or s is equals minus 3 minus square root of minus 1. So the plus component and minus component. So that's that. You solved the equation. So let's see the other question. This is 2s squared minus 6s minus 4 is equal to 0. So first method, we take the constant the other way. So here will be 2s squared minus 6s is equal to 4. After that, we have to make the coefficient of s squared 1. So we need to divide both sides by 2. So dividing here by 2, dividing here by 2, dividing here by 2, we have s squared minus 3s is equals 2. So that's what I told you I would do. So anytime this one has value, not 1, make sure that you divide throughout by that coefficient to make sure that s squared stays alone. Now that we have this, the coefficient of s is simply minus 3. So, as usual, we divide it by 2 and square. So, we add it to both sides. So, s square minus 3s plus minus 3 over 2 square is equals 2 plus minus 3 over 2 square. So, we've added it to both sides, just like we did here. Just that this is positive. And that one is negative. So this will give you s square minus 3s. Uh, the square of uh, 9, 3 square is 9, over 2 square is 4. This is equals 2 plus 9 over 4. So in this case, you have s square minus 3s plus 9 over 4 is equals 8 plus 9 over 4. s squared minus 3s plus 9 over 4 is equals 17 over 4. That's how to do that. So now let's solve the question the way it was. So the way the question is, this is this. So this will give you s squared minus 6s is equals 4. You get. So we take this that. Then we minus 6 over 2 square. So we we'll come here and say s squared minus 6s plus minus 6 over 2 square is equals 4 plus minus 6 over 2 square. So we've squared the half of the coefficient. So this is the same thing as s squared minus 6s plus the square of 6 minus 6 is 36. 36 over 4 is equals 4 plus 36 over 4. So s squared minus 6s plus 36 divided by 4 is 9. So it's equals 16 plus 36 over 4. So s squared minus 6s plus 9 is equals 52. So this will give you s squared minus 6s plus 9 is equals 13. Now remember what I told you here. To look for something to add to this thing to square, you get it from here. When we divided the coefficient of s by 2, we got minus 3. Because minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. So that's what you simply put here. So you have s minus 3 
square is equals 13. So this means that s minus 3 is equals square root of 13 plus or minus s is equals 3 plus square root of 13 or 3 minus square root of 13. So that is the answer to these questions. And for many of the questions you come across, you get a whole number of very fine answers. So don't blame us that we are getting this. I deliberately picked these questions for you to know that it's possible to have these answers. Thanks for watching. This is completing the square method of solving quadratic equations. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.